My next guest just brought home the men's cross country Region 20 and Maryland JUCO titles. He was named the U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association East Region Coach of the Year. Steve Musselman joins me now. Welcome, Coach. Thanks, Diane. Tell us a little bit about the Region 20 meet. The Region 20 meet was always exciting. Uh, for, for the women, we knew it would come down between us and Anne Arundel. And Anne Arundel got us. They, were, they, they did very well this year, and, and so did we. It was, it was a good race. Uh, for the men, our, you know, we're also competing for the JUCO. We knew competition would come from College of Southern Mary in Hagerstown. But we have a lot of depth on the men this year. And that's what made us so strong. Uh, Potomac State is our, the other Region 20 Division III team that at, aspires to be where we want to be. All his conversations with his team center around us, which is flattering and a little funny at times. But, um, but we, we did very well. You know, we, we, we defended our titles. And uh, like I said it was our first win against Hagerstown in several years. So we were quite pleased with that. So let's get to Nationals. What was Nationals like? Give us the highlights. I was quite pleased. For the women's race, uh, our goal was, again, top 10. And we had some goals set for some of our individual women. Uh, Maggie, going around the part of the loop, and she headed to the woods. She was running six. When she came out, she was fourth. And I said, you know, let's keep this going. And she ended up uh, finishing fourth overall, first team All-American. Is that the best ever finish for a female that, runner here That at is our top placing female in the 30 years of the program. And how about our men? The men uh, going in, and there's a lot of strategy involved. There's matchups. You know, we, we pretty much knew it, we need to stay with Harper within the first half of the race. If we knew we were okay, we were fine. You know, we, we could be in contention. Um, sometimes in our sport, things happen. Our, our number two runner, went out way too fast. Oh, he, he was just too, so excited, went out fast above his abilities, and he ended up being my number seven runner that day. And, and that hurt, and I knew halfway into the race that we were gonna be fighting for second and third. Um, what I, I really admire about this team the most is a, after the race, two of the guys were sobbing because they thought they let the team down. Again, giving a big hug, I said, no, you put it out there. And he goes, well, I went out too fast, I said, well, yeah, you did, but there's nothing we can do about it now. But now we move on and get ready for other things. But you need to learn from this. And he goes, you've told me before. I said, yes, yes, I did. Now we're going to fix this, right? He goes, yes, coach, we'll fix it for the future. But they did some great things. Good luck, coach, and we'll do it again next year. Thank you, Diane.